for a base. And I picked up the, the Juvia's Place Shade 6, the multi-purpose foundation stick. I picked mine up in the shade Namabia. Namabia, I hope I'm saying it correctly. And I have not tried these products as of yet, so hopefully it is, oh, that looks like a decent shade match to me. So let's go ahead and push for it. Oh, oh, because it's hot, oh man. Don't be like me guys and roll it up too much. I'm just gonna roll it up a little bit and swipe it. That looks like it's a pretty decent shade match. Let's see how it covers. I'm gonna go in with this sponge. This is a sponge from DJ Unique Beauty. She just recently dropped some sponges. I, I mentioned her to you guys. If you don't know, just PGD here on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, Instagram, definitely follow her. And then she also has a boutique now. Um, if you've seen one of my recent hauls, I'm gonna link it up above so you can see the palette. And I'll be doing a video featuring that palette. I just haven't gotten a chance to as of yet. But this is the sponge from her collection. So I figured let's keep it all black on. And I'm gonna blend this foundation stick out with this sponge. So guys, I think that's a pretty good um, shade match actually. What do you guys think? I normally don't go for foundation sticks. I like fuller coverage when it comes to foundations and I'm just not a fan of foundation sticks normally. But this one actually feels, it doesn't feel like anything's on the face, which is surprising. Like I can feel a little bit of stuff when I do that. But as far as like, it's not tacky or sticky or anything, I'm gonna take that same stick and try to build up where I want more coverage which is usually above my mouth and this center area here because that's where I pretty much need coverage. I'm going to this. But yeah, the foundation, I think it did pretty good on that second build up. Like, um, even above my lip doesn't look like it's not covered. Like, I think it did pretty good coverage. So yeah, it's definitely a buildable formula. Now I have quite a bit of Jovia's Place palettes in my collection. I have the Berries palette that I have yet to use. And I think I showed you that in the recent haul. I have the Nubian 3 Coral palette that, again, <laughs> I have yet to use. And that's what that one looks like, but I'll definitely be pulling this out for the fall. So definitely stay tuned for a video on that. Uh oh, another one that I have yet to use. This is a recent addition. I think I bought this this year. It was on sale at Ulta. But this is the Warrior palette. This is one of their older palettes, and I'm a neutral girl at heart. So this one called out to me. Definitely another fall palette that you guys have seen. I have the Nubian 2 palette. Have I used this? Oh. I remember when this green shadow broke, I was so upset. I have used this palette because I love that green shade and it broke. I think Toby was playing with it a long time ago. I've had this palette for years. This one, I really love that um, Warrior 2 palette. And this one was the Masquerade palette. And that's what that palette looks like there. So um, I've used these two the most. But again, like I said, I want to go into the new palette that they recently released. They recently released three of these uh, mini palettes, an extension of the original shades that they had. These mini palettes that they have, I think the Moms and the Berries actually will complement each other. Do you think so? I love it. Yeah, so the Moms is a little bit more cool tone, but I'm going to go ahead and try, I'm going to create a look feature in this Moms palette. The 
the next shade I'm going to take just to deepen up that crease I'm going to take the middle sh top shade there and let's go a little lower that looks more like a pink than morph but let's go with it There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, but to me, like when it has fallout and stuff like that, to me it just makes it an like, easier blend. Like that first one was a little stiff and harder to blend, so you see that I had to keep building it up and blending it out. This one didn't take much building or blending. Like it was perfect pigmentation and it was the perfect formula just to go ahead and deepen up that crease. So I like that shade. I'm gonna move on to this third deeper shade here. I'm gonna try to use every color in the palette just so that we can get a good, so we can get a good overview of what the palette is bringing. So again, I'm gonna take this deeper shade here. And again, this one has a little bit of fallout when I put my brush in. But to me, I like stuff like that. See, like you see the pigmentation, it doesn't take much to build up. So I'm just putting this in this outer corner here just to deepen that up and bring it into the crease just a little bit. Now this is like when I like to go back with that original brush that I have, which is the Sedona Lace. 863. I think Sedona Lace has just recently dropped out some, dropped some new brushes. I used to pick up the Sedona Lace brushes way back when. I've had these brushes for forever. So I like to go back in and just make sure all those transitions and creases are nice and blended. I might go back in with that first original shade just to buff everything out. Make sure everything is nicely blended here. And just go around the edges of the shadows there. So, so far we used three shades. I'm going to go on with this deepest shade here. I wanted to use a particular brush for that outer corner, but it's okay. I'm going to take another Sedona Lace brush, which is the 904. And I'm going in with that deepest shade and go on real tight here. Being that I couldn't find the brush that I originally wanted to use, I went ahead with that smaller brush and I'm going to blend it out with this brush here. Shimmers. I'm going to take this glitter primer and just put it in the inside of my lid, just in the inner corner, just so the, the shadows will stick a little bit better. Guys, okay, so the last two shades in the palette that we have to use are the two glittery shades, not glitter. Let me say two shimmer shades. I just swatched that middle pink shade. Look at this, guys. It's really pretty. It's like a dual chrome where it's like pink and it has a green shift. But for the um, other shimmer shade is that I'm going to take that shade there and we're going to put that on the lid. This is going to be my lid shade. I want to grab my Mario Podesky spray and see how it probably looks when I actually spray that shit. I think it looks really nice actually. I like to spray it before and after. So let's see. So I'm gonna go off camera, do my liner, lashes, and we'll come back and finish up the face and also the lower lash line. So two seconds for y'all, you know how it is. All right, 
guys. I'm keeping a buck with you guys. It's been a minute, a couple of hours since I have been on camera. My foundation has set and I actually ran to the store with my mask on and I really like the way this foundation is looking. So, excuse me, because I just ate a slice of pizza as well. It is Friday, I was not cooking, so pizza night it was, the journal. But my lashes is on, my liner is on, and my eyes are done. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see the eye look. But I'm going to zoom out. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm going to go ahead and start with these concealers. And I have two of the I Am Magic concealers. I bought these shades number 9 and number 12. And when I opened these when I first got the package, they look like so similar. But honestly, seeing in this lighting, I can see that this one may be a little bit lighter than these than this one. So this is the shade number 12. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. When I took it out the package, and the shades look so similar. But this one is the shade number, okay. So this one here is the number, shade number 12, and this one on this side is the number 9. So I can definitely see the difference in the shades. One is definitely more orangey and yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade number nine for highlighting. Here in the inner corner and the outer corner. And then now the sense of my forehead here. A little bit above my mouth. Like always, the same place is where I like to highlight my face. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. What is this? The e.l.f. stipple brush. And I'm just gonna blend out. Done. I forgot, and I really like that. Okay. You know, I love a good concealer, and I feel like that's it. A really good job of concealing this inner portion. My dark areas right up in here. That looks good. Okay. I know my girl KK talks about this Juvia's place. She does shop my stashes like every maybe two weeks or every other week or something like that. And she always keeps her Juvia's place concealer up in here. And I can definitely see why. Like, this is really nice, guys. And as I mentioned to you earlier in the video, the same place where I got the nude beauty wonder sponge, DJ's boutique, she also dropped a setting powder. Since I don't have a Juvia's place, um, setting powder, I figured I'd use DJ's Boutique. It says it here on the top of the packaging as well. Oh, it didn't even come with a little powder puff, so that's cute. And then it said, okay, I literally just got this in the mail today, so I was really excited to, you, to be able to use this in the video. And these kind of things, I don't like to take off the whole thing because I don't know what the scent is going to be like, but this is reminding me of my... Um, this is definitely reminding me of my Laura Mercier powder. And I didn't buy the new honey powder from Laura Mercier, but when I seen DJ coming out with a honey shade, I definitely wanted to try that. So I'm gonna take this little powder brush here and use that to set the concealer that I just blended out. And I don't like to put a lot of powder. You guys know I'm a dry girl, so. I'm not gonna use so much powder, but I'm definitely going to set about the areas where I put concealer. I can definitely appreciate the fact that it came with a pop though because this very affordable powder is only like $15. She just dropped it on Monday and I got my package today. No, she dropped it on Tuesday because I was at work. I only work once a day, once a week. So I know it was on Tuesday. I was at work when I placed my order for the powder and two of these sponges and I got it today which is Friday so really fast shipping so definitely check out DJ's unique boutique I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check her out but that is freaking I like that concealer and setting powder combination I really like that like it's so smooth I don't feel any crust and it doesn't feel heavy it's very lightweight so go ahead yes I am excited for that but continuing on with Juvia's Place, I have two of the blush palettes. Now, I actually used this blush palette 
for a look that I did recently on my channel, the Cobra Beauty Lipstick Swatches. I used the, what is this, the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette, and this is the lighter of the two. But in that video, I went ahead, if I'm not mistaken, I went ahead and mixed um, the blush shade B along with the blush shade Sola, and for highlight, I went in with Sola. But for today's video, I'm actually gonna use the darker of the two. So this is the Saharan Blush Volume 1. It's definitely one of my favorites. When these, when these palettes first came out, I ran them through the ground. I'm gonna bronze up a little bit with that shade Abbey. And it's a really deep shade. It's like a blush, but I can use it as a bronzer slash contour kind of shade. You see the pigmentation, like I don't have to have so much part of on my brush. These are hella pigmented. That's why I love, that's why everybody loves Juvia's face because the pigmentation is just there. You don't need so much product in order to make it show up on our skin tone. Us with deeper melanated skin, you know? So I just love these blush palettes. And it may not be the ideal shade that I'm looking for because if you look at that, I can see it on camera, but it's like more of a plummy kind of shade, but it still works as a bronzer to like warm up the face. So this is what Juvia's Place has given us, but I would love for them to come out with like more bronzers per se. I think they would do a hell of a job with bronzers as long as they get the undertones right. There's a couple of things that we need from Juvia's Place to make a like official full fleece. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna go in, what should I use? I'm gonna do a mixture. I'm gonna do Zara and Lila stick them with the Saharan Blush 1 palette. I'm just gonna go into these two highlight shades. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix those two and put those on my skin. And it's not like an overdoing kind of highlight. It's really subdued and laid back. So it just blends into the skin so nicely. Like these shades are everything. So I'm gonna mix these two middle shades here and create my blush. Hopefully it's <laughs> not looking too crazy and clash with the eyeshadow look that I'm doing but woo the pigmentation I be forgetting you know I be forgetting about that pigmentation let's blend these bad boys out that pigmentation is no joke um I don't have a finishing powder from Juvia's place. So I'm gonna go in with my normal finishing powder. I had to put my Fenty spray in a different bottle because I dropped the bottle and it broke on me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with this. My face needed that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. That's it. I don't have too many finishing powders. So I'm just going in with my favorite and blending all that in together. Make sure everything looks good and seamless. I picked up the Julius Place Lux Liner from Ulta, and this is in the shade Cola. I thought it would make I thought it made sense to actually pick up a liner from their line as well. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Cola, and that's what it looks like right there. Really nice chocolatey brown shade. But we're gonna swatch the lipsticks, and I'll show you I'll show you with and without a lip liner. So I picked up three shades of the Velvety Matte Lipsticks. We're gonna go from lightest to darkest. I picked up one from the Peaches line and this is in the shade Me. This is actually the deeper shade of the Peaches nude line that they have. And here is a look at the packaging. A nice ombre little package thing going on. They got the J for Juvia's Place. I'll do a close up so you guys can see it. But this is the shade Me has a very interesting shape going on here and yeah let's go ahead and start swatching these lipsticks 
So again, this one is in the shade me. And let me go ahead and wind that down because we just saw what happened with my foundation. So that's the shade me without a lip liner. That's it without a lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color liner so you guys can see it mixed together. So guys, this is the shade Me from the Julius Praise Velvety Matte Lipsticks in the Peaches shade and the Peach Nudes, the shade Me. Next up is the shade Amog Moment. Juvia's place must think Mog means pink because this is a peachy, a pinky move. But this is called a Mog Moment. I'm gonna go ahead in with the color liner again. Which this one I'm gonna actually wear by itself. I don't have a problem with it, but let's deepen it up with that color liner. So that is a mob moment. I really like the shade. Let me go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see the difference. So this one here is a mob moment. Again, it looks pinky to me, but you know, not for nothing. I did mention on my eyes that the eyeshadows looked pink, but on my eyes, they did pull together a mob, a mob moment. <laughs> it is a mob moment on my eyes as well. So I do want to make that note. But let's go ahead and swatch that last lipstick. The last lipstick that I have here is called Kiwi. And this is also from the Nude Moths collection. I didn't mention, but you should know from the name, a Moth Moment. This is also a Harvey Nude, as Julius Place describes it. And then this shade, again, is Kiwi. This is what the shade looks like there. This is what it looks like swatched on my hand. Now they're matte lipsticks, but they feel so smooth. They glide right on, nice pigmentation. They really don't feel drying. Like there's no gloss to it. It's not glowy or anything. So I can see where it says it's matte, but it's more of a satin to me because the finishes are so drying. Like I didn't keep them on my lips for so long, the butt for so long, but I don't feel like it's drying. And with Kiwi, this is another one of those shades where I can wear it without a lip liner, but I'm gonna go ahead and line it with cola. So guys, here's Kebby with the shade Cola swatched on my lips. I really like this, really nice. And I think this one actually goes the best with the eye shape, so I'm gonna use this color of Kebby for the rest of my video and definitely stay tuned for my final thoughts of all, on all of the Juvia's Place products that I used in this video. But this is my gold face of Juvia's Place and I am loving it. Let's chat about these products, okay? So this is the, first off, I went in with the Juvia's Place Shade Stick. This is their multi-purpose foundation stick in the shade Namabia. And I think it is a really, really good shade match. Like, I'm not a fan I'll tell you right now, I am not the biggest fan of foundation sticks, but this one here, like I was able to build it up. The coverage is really nice, so I didn't really have to go home with concealer or anything. I think I've had this foundation on for a couple of hours now, I'm gonna say at least two, three hours at this point, and maybe even longer than that at this point. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. I went outside, I went to the store, I had a mask on, and guys, I think it really did really good. So yeah, this is a foundation. This is a foundation stick that I actually like. So I'm really happy about this. And again, my shade is Namibia. So yeah, I think it's a really good shade match. I don't know how it's coming off on camera. To me, in person, it looks really, really nice. Not too dewy. It doesn't feel heavy like I can 
like I have something up. Well, touching my face now because it's hot, sticky and stuff, and I've been doing a lot within these last couple of hours. So I do feel, it doesn't feel heavy, but with the touch, I do feel like I have something on my face. Now, as far as the concealer shades, I picked up the shade 9 and 12. I'm pretty sure I only use 9, but I thought when I first took them off the packaging, I thought they looked so similar, but in this lighting, you could definitely see a little bit of a difference. I used 9, the highlighting shade, you know, in the places where I highlight, and I think it has really good coverage. To me, I feel like I can get away with using a color corrector before I use it, but if I don't, it looks, still looks good. Like, I, the dark areas, you know, you're gonna be self-conscious of it. You know it's there, so you personally can see it because you know it's there, but you guys tell me, can you see my darkness speaking through? I think this concealer did a really good job underneath my eyes and above my mouth. I think it really did a good job, so I'll definitely be continuing to use this concealer, but you guys know. Concealer and powder is like my everyday go-to. If I'm going to work or anything like that, I'm going to use concealer and powder. And these are concealers I'm really happy that I added to my collection. Now, as I told you, I don't have any kind of face powders or anything from Julia's Place in my collection as of yet. But I was really happy with DJ's Boutique with her setting powder. It went on really smooth. And this still feels smooth. Like, I don't feel anything underneath there. I'm not the person that uses a ton of setting powder underneath my eyes. I'm not a baker or anything like that. I don't bake my concealer or anything like that. But yeah, this is the Honey Cup. This is the shade Honey, and I'm so happy that I picked it up. Definitely support my girl, DJ Julie Boutique. If you was looking to buy like, the new Laura Mercier powder, why not support a black moon business? So DJ's Boutique, you'll definitely be seeing more on my channel in the upcoming weeks, because I have her palette, and I definitely want to use that palette along with the rest of her products. But this is something that I'll definitely be keeping in my rotation. Now, as I told you, with the blush palettes from Julia's Place, I am no stranger to these. I told you guys I recently used this in the Proper Beauty lipsticks. If you saw that lip swatch video, I was wearing the Saharan Blush Palette number two. I love these shades. I love that they have two different palettes. So this is, let me go ahead and open up. So the one that I use today is the Saharan Blush one, which is perfect for the fall. And that, to me, this one is perfect for spring and summer. So these two blush palettes have always been big. These have been in my collection for a long time. And I've used the mess out of them, and I will definitely always continue to use these. I love these palettes. When I say love, like I love these palettes. The pigmentation, the blendability, like even that, what, I use that deeper shade as a contour. Like can you tell that that's not a contour? Like even though it has like a plummy tone behind it, it has that reddish tone behind it, but it doesn't look harsh, which is what I love about these palettes. So. If you haven't already, which these have been out for years, you should have these in your collection already. But if you don't, definitely check these out. Juvia's Place is constantly having sales. It is Labor Day weekend, if I'm not mistaken. They have 25% of going on right now. I don't know when this video will be up, but definitely follow Juvia's Place on Instagram or follow their mailing list, things like that. I'll have everything linked down below for you to check it out because you definitely want to get your hands on these. Like in the eyeshadow, I can that was the first thing I used, and I didn't even bother to go into that. But this Morph palette, like, I am pleasantly surprised. I went in with all six of the shades because I wanted to see how you could work. Now, this bottom row, this middle shade here at the bottom, it is really glittery, and I'm not the glitter kind of person. I did use it on the inner tip of my eye look, and then I went back over it with the other plummy, glowy kind of shade that they had going on. I went over it, but you can see the lightness in between my eyes. And I, I like it, like I can't even be mad at it. Let me go ahead and swatch all six of these shades so you guys can see. So as you can see, those six shades, they swatch beautifully. That middle shade, to me, it gets a little bit of shift when you swatch it. I don't see it so much on my eye, but I used all six of the shades. This one here that I had used for that initial transition color, I did have to build it up, but everything else, I'm telling you, these palettes are so worth your money. Juvia's Place is affordable, and you can get so many different colors. Like, I showed you my collection of Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. They're constantly having sales. If they're not having sales on their website, you can definitely check out Ulta, and they're constantly offering deals. So happy that I got this Mauve palette. 
Um, I showed you guys the palettes that I have in my collection and you'll definitely be seeing more jewelry's placed here on my channel as well. The Kola Liner, I went ahead and picked it up from Ulta. When I first placed my order from Jewelry's Place, I was like, listen, I have so many lip liners in my collection. I really didn't need one, but being that Jewelry's, I mean, being that Ulta was having their 21 Days of Beauty and I was already placing the order, this is only $10, so I went ahead and threw one in the bag. And again, I'm happy that I did because I was able to show you different lip combinations with it. It goes on really smooth, nice and creamy. And this is gonna be a nice lip liner to come in handy. And last but not least, these lip colors. You guys know lipstick is my favorite and I'm so happy with the colors that I picked up. Specifically, the one that I'm wearing right now is Kevi, Kiwi, however you pronounce it. Absolutely, I'm digging this shade. Really nice mauve shade. I think it goes perfectly to match these eyes. And even the one that I had swatched before it, which was the shade Amav Moment, I really like that one as well. It was a really nice shade. And then with the lip liner, me looks perfect as well. So really happy with these lipsticks. It doesn't feel drying or anything. It's a matte lipstick, but it doesn't feel drying. It actually feels like nice and creamy. Like I can like move my lips around, guys. Like it's really nice. I am. This so yeah guys, that basically completes my full face of Juvia's Place. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let other people know that they should be watching this video as well. If you haven't already, go ahead and join the K-Squad. We would love to have you here and I hope to catch you guys on the next video. Until next time, beauty, really stay blessed. Lady up.